And we're live. Good morning. Happy Memorial Weekend to everybody. Uh, we've got two people I can see so far. We got Chili Dean, who uh, is probably excited to listen to something other than Let It Go this morning. <laughs> and we have Nuff, who likes jerky. So do we. Um, so we have a few things that are non-jerky related, but this is all from Famous Drafts. Um, absolutely love their products, and they sent me more. So I think to start off, we're going to try this watermelon licorice, which Isabel confessed she's not a huge fan of licorice, but I think the watermelon is going to be fun. Yeah, my brother, uh, Bishop, he loves mango licorice, like specifically from Australia. It's a different texture, the Aussie yeah. licorice. But he always gets it and he offers me some and I'm like, no, I don't like it. Oh, Dean had to close it out. It wouldn't show the live. Oh, huh. I'm just going to cut this. There we go. Thank you. Cheers. It's a good watermelon flavor. It's not too strong. Mm -hmm. Nice texture. I will also admit that I don't like watermelon flavored things. Oh no. Well, it's a good thing we're getting this out of the way first, I guess. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's why. Maybe Bishop will want it. Probably. I see Joshua has joined us. Hello. <laughs> she likes it. Yep. Mm hmm Well, good. It's pretty darn good. Mm-hmm. And if you want to buy any of these products, I put the link to Jeff's famous website in the description. Well, they're out of California, so nice and close to us. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right. What should we try next? Hmm. Chicken jerky? Sure. That sounds fun. This one does look fun. So this is a buffalo flavored chicken jerky. Isabel also doesn't like buffalo. Oh yeah, I don't. <laughs> I do. They make the best Carolina Reaper jerky on the market. Yes, that is good. I've had that before. Hello, funky uncle. Mmm. It smells good. It smells like buffalo. Sorry. <laughs> I'll give you a little piece. I'll take a big one. Can I find a little piece? Let's see. Yeah. Um, the main reason I don't like buffalo I is know. because one time mom spilled a huge, like, glass bottle of buffalo sauce all over the stairs. Mm -hmm. And our house smelled like buffalo sauce for a while. Yeah, that really pungent vinegary smell. Um, Nuff says our friendship wouldn't last if I didn't like buffalo. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's a good kick to it, too. Mm -hmm. I don't hate buffalo sauce. But I don't like it. Like, mm -hmm. I, if I can choose to have, like, other sauces on, like, chicken wings or something like that, buffalo is, like, my last choice. What's your favorite wing flavor? Mm, that's a really good question. Probably bar barbecue. Really? Yeah. That's pretty basic. I know. <laughs> I like this, but we'll rate it when we're done. <clears throat> Lee, I hope you have a great weekend as well. Mm. That's very good. Yeah, and this is part of their Mexican snacks, um, which we'll try this later. But, oh, I'm throwing things. Um, but we have this uh, Mexican snack trail mix as well. Mackie's coming over tonight. You're filming a new episode. That's fun. Oh, yeah, that has a decent heat to it. I'd say like a 2 out of 10. Mm. 
You've been working on musical openings all morning. That's fun. Um, okay. What do you want to try next? I'm thinking this <clears throat> chili. Chili limon? Yes. Yeah, that looks good. So this one's a beef jerky. And the spice is jalapeno. It's also got cumin, paprika, chili pepper, lime peel, cayenne. Nice. That sounds good. <clears throat> Blake loves it when we do these reviews because then we just have a bunch of jerky in the pantry. Yeah. Yeah, Chili Dean um, Nuff has been making new videos about movies. Nothing food related, but lots of movies. Oh, that smells awesome. Do you want the big piece or? Yes, yeah, big piece. You want the big piece? Okay. Mmm. Yep. Perfectly tender. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I love the texture of the jerky that he makes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some jerky uh is just too dry. It's like shoe leather. Mm-hmm. Especially the <clears> stuff <throat> like you get in regular stores. And it's too expensive, in mm -hmm. my opinion, for what it is. That is really good. Yeah, I, I was a guest on your return live stream, and uh, I drank way too much wine. It was great. Um, <laughs> meat sticks? Mm -hmm. I haven't had their meat sticks, but I'm a big fan of a meat stick. Oh, this one says to refrigerate after opening. Okay. <clears throat> it's pork and beef and dried jalapenos. Nice. All right. Oh, this is going to be hard to open, isn't it? I like to buy, I forget the company, but I buy these jalapeno <clears throat> meat sticks from the grocery store. And Isabel always says I'm giving myself cancer. They are cancer sticks. Yep. Yeah, they're... Probably just as bad as cigarettes. <laughs> I highly doubt they're as bad as cigarettes. I know, I'm messing with you. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm, country girls here. Mm -hmm. How's the weather in Washington? Um, It has been really hot. It's cool today. It's gray out where we're at. Mm. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's a lighter jalapeno flavor than the ones I buy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It tastes kind of fresh, even though it's a meat stick. Mm-hmm. That's a funny thing to say about a meat stick. I know. Hmm. <clears throat> Country girl, where in um where in Oregon does your dad live? Nuff is curious about the python jerky. I think we're going to save that for last. I'm very excited for that. Raven, hello. How are you today? <clears throat> Makes you think of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. Okay. So we've got jalapeno hellfire and bacon jerky. Uh, I'm going to save the bacon jerky as far as we can because I'm really excited for that you one. You want to do that last? Yeah. Okay. I mean, other than the python jerky. Gotcha. I want to do that one last. So this one is the jalapeno hellfire. It is beef. Jalapenos, obviously. Um, also has jalapeno powder. But you can see lots of seeds on that. You should try a sirloin burger with jalapeno soup. That sounds good. I actually make a really good jalapeno soup. Have that, you ever made that for us? I yeah, think that, so. that vegan. The, yeah, it's yeah. a vegan cheddar jalapeno soup, which sounds strange, but it's very delicious. Yeah. I can adjust to it. and I make good soup. Yeah. My favorite soup that you've made, though, is still the, uh... The beet one with yeah. the coconut milk? It's really pretty. It turns out pink. Right. 
Mm. This one's sweeter. It says it's extra hot, but I wouldn't say it's extra hot. Would you? No. It is bitter. Really? Yeah. I'm not getting that. Hmm. I like that one a lot. Mm Mm-hmm. It's not my favorite. It's too powdery for me. It does have jalapeno powder, so that makes sense. And a lot of other powders. Cayenne, granulated onion, granulated garlic. Nice. Hmm. I think that'll like that one. Extra hot for normies. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's just funny because they also make the reaper jerky. Um, CB, Uncle's B, afternoon all have shared out. Thank you. Yeah, I suppose um, our views are probably down a little bit. I saw, well, one, we don't usually film in the morning. But uh, Shahina is live right now. Mm-hmm. So I can't compete with the UK Chili Queen. Um, okay, you want to try the bacon? Yes. So this one says it's uncured. Oh, I'm getting a like heat kickback from that last one. Mm-hmm. Uncured bacon jerky. It's applewood smoked flavor. And it says it's sweet. I'm excited for this. I love like sweet bacon flavors. Oh, remember that one time I accidentally bought the maple flavored bacon and I made potato salad with it? Do you no. remember that? It was horrible. So bad. Big mistake. There's a Campbell's Chunky Spicy Sirloin Burger Soup. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've, have I tried that? I think, I, think I reviewed that. Yeah. It is good. Peppers in Kentucky Living. Hello. How are you today, sir? Oh, look at that. Do you want a whole piece? Yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to really like this one. I bet you will. All right. Yeah. Lots of flavor on that. Mmm. Mm, it's candied. Mm-hmm. I think the last bacon jerky we got from them was candied, too. Mmm. That is very good. Mm. We're doing good. Haven't showered yet this morning, but got my coffee and lots of snacks, so it's a good day. Raven, we're eating bacon jerky right now. Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot we have this. Oh, it looks like it has wasabi peas in there. That's interesting. Hmm. It's not very Mexican. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, these say that they are sweet and sour. And there are a ton of ingredients. But it looks like we've got chili, lemon, oh, peanuts. Oh, before that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we were eating the jalapeno hellfire jerky Mm, mm -hmm. before that. So we've got chili lemon peanuts, um, chili lemon corn nuggets, fried green peas, wasabi green peas, chili bites, Cajun sesame sticks. Uh, I think that's it. Interesting. There's cocoa powder in here. Hmm. Huh. All right. So the frozen coffee is still going. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I saw on Facebook this morning, Dean's uh, daughter is serenading him with frozen. That's fun. I got to miss out on that. As well was old enough, you didn't really like frozen. Yeah, I was really... I remember being very confused by the premise when you were trying to explain it to me when we were about to go to the movie theater. You're like, yeah, there's this girl, and she gets, like, shot by her sister that has magic powers, and she has, like, a streak of, like, white hair after that. And I was like, what are you saying to me right now? I don't even remember that. (laughs) Hmm. Um... 
Oh, don't worry about being late, Tom. Tom, because Tom is my only member. <laughs> Huge fan of Tom. Um, I actually have members only content, Tom, so I'll work on that today. Um, but I've started practicing for Coney Island. So I'm going to post um, my first practice of the year as a members only video because I don't I don't want my competitors to see how I'm doing. Mm -hmm. so it's top secret. Just, I mean, just for you, Tom. I mean, uh, I mean, they could just like pay for your members only videos. If they want to pay to see it, they can see it. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel about that. That's a this good is, way to get more members. Right. If they're that curious. It is my first run. I'm doing better. Than I did. The first run's always really tough. Um, but yeah, we have to qualify again this year. No, no random invites. Hmm, smells strange. Mm hmm Okay. I don't know how to do this. Pour it in your hand. Just like put a yeah. handful in my mouth? Yeah. Okay. Or try them separately. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But I imagine like trail mix, you want to get all the flavors together, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Aw, thanks, Tom. I don't want any wasabi peas, but I got like two. Just take them out. You can give them to me. Okay. I'll eat the wasabi peas. Is this another one? It's going to burn my nose. No, okay. We're good. Okay. Ready? Yep. <laughs> oh, mm hmm. Spice in the nose. Mm hmm. Hmm. That is interesting. It is not spicy. Mm hmm. I want one of these little corn nuts. Hmm. Okay. Everything tastes like wasabi. Really? Even though you took them out? Mm hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> oh. Thanks, Dean. Zero pressure for people to become members. Um, like I said, Tom's been my only member for like four months now, but it's fine. Um, oh, thank you so much, Jay Sinister. Um, hmm. Okay. I have a terrible feeling this is going to sit in the pantry for a long time. Oh, it definitely will. Unless Dad likes it. I don't know. It's good. It's just not something I would reach for when I'm wanting a snack. Okay. This is what we've all been waiting for. So I've tried a lot of different meats over the years. I've had rattlesnake. I've had reindeer. Uh, You've had alligator? Yeah, alligator. Um, I love rabbit. There's a great butcher shop close to us that sells rabbits. Although now our grocery store has rabbits too. Winco does. Yeah, but I don't trust it. No, it's no. the same. It's the same farm. The really? same rabbit farm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It does seem. You weird. don't know about it. You gotta buy it from the butcher. Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, thanks, Dean. Yeah, I'm glad you were able to join this morning, Raven. It's good to see you in the chat. All right. So python. Never had this. The ingredients are python. Obviously, brown sugar, teriyaki sauce, wine, sugar, water, vinegar, salt, onion powder, and a bunch of other stuff. Celery powder. Oh, no. I am not a fan of celery. Okay. We'll see. Was it two years ago I was practicing for Nathan's, and the only natural casing hot dogs I could find in the store to try had celery powder in them? It was horrible. Yeah, that's right, Tom. It's okay, but nothing you jump a high fence for. <laughs> All right. Python. It smells really good. I'm sure it's seasoned really well. It has teriyaki in it. Mm. Okay. Got it. Very chewy. Not as good of a texture as everything else. Mm-mm. And I can taste the celery. But it works well with the other flavors. But yeah, it's it's much chewier than the beef. Rattlesnake sausage is pretty good. Mmm, I bet I'd like that. I liked, I just bought rattlesnake in a tin, you know, like you can buy on Amazon. I still need to. We got that in Oregon. 
Did we? Mm -hmm. I think you can buy it online though too. I still need to try one of those um, tarantulas you can get in the tin. That would be a good Halloween video because I'll just be crying and screaming the whole time. Which seems appropriate. Wait, what? Those tarantulas you can buy in the tin? Oh, yeah. Have you seen those? Dad wants me to try one of those. I am terrified of spiders. Even the smallest spider. And Isabel has to come running and take care of it for me. Yep. I am the spider killer in the family. Dad saves all the spiders. I just think that takes too much work. I wasn't always terrified of spiders. And I understand that they do good in the world. So that's not the issue. It's that they're not respecting my boundaries. Like, you don't belong in my house. Um, yeah, and I've been bit by spiders before. So speaking of Halloween, yes, I get to go to California again for work in October. And it's perfect timing because I will be there in time to go to Nuff's Halloween party, which I've heard is phenomenal and I'm very excited for. Maybe you'll get to watch me eat a spider live. Nuff. Maybe. That can be funny. And this time, I'm not petting your cat. I'm not getting bit again. <laughs> After my mom told me about that, mm -hmm. every time like I meet someone else's cat, I'm like, do they bite? And then I ask if they do bite. I'm like, are they like, do they have all their shots? Like, are they clear? <laughs> so, like, I have to make sure every single time. That's a good rule of thumb for most pets. Like, if you haven't watched my video about the cat bite, Nuff was very clear with me that his cat bites. And I, because I'm a stupid white lady, was like, oh, it won't bite me. Uh, Raven says we're doing good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I bet Cricky will be there. I'll get to see him again. Um, okay, let's rate what we've eaten. So starting with the watermelon licorice. Um, hmm, we're at out of ten. Yeah, probably like a four. Okay, I'd give it a five. Um, I'm not a huge licorice person either, but I do like the watermelon flavor. It smells amazing. So yeah, I'd say a five out of ten. Dean is terrified of spiders, good with snakes, but not spiders. Yeah, snakes startle me. Like when we have garden snakes, when I'm mowing the lawn, they startle me, but I'm not actually afraid of them. Once I realize it's there, I'm like, okay, that's fine. Next is buffalo chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I'm going to give this another 4 out of 10. Yeah, you don't, yeah. You don't like the flavor. I think this is delicious, but I'm reserving it at a seven because I have something I like better. So, um, chili lemon. I think that's a nine out of 10. I think it is a seven out of 10. Okay. Yeah. Moving up. Yeah. But not quite the best. I kind of know which one you, you like best, but yeah, this is so flavorful. Uh, I could eat the whole bag. Uh, Jalapeno Hellfire. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. It was a little too powdery. Mm, I'd give it an 8. I didn't like it quite as much as the Chili Limon, but it still has that great texture and it has a really good heat. That would be nice, Raven. I forget. You're in New Mexico, right? Um, we keep wanting to plan a trip to New Mexico. but I want to go to New Mexico oh. so bad. <laughs> Jeff says it's better than spicy chocolate. Yes. I need to find a date when you're not doing a contest. I know it's contest season right now, Jeff, but we need uh, to find a date to eat that raspberry rain together. Um, oh, wait, we ate this. The meat sticks? Mm -hmm. Meat sticks, your opinion. They're not, maybe because I'm like preconditioned to the jalapeno sticks I get, and that's what I'm expecting. Um, they're not quite as good as the ones that I buy, although I do acknowledge to your point that they taste fresher. So I would say a seven out of 10. I would give them a nine out of 10. Ooh. I really like how they taste. I, I like meat six a lot, but often they have too strong of a like salty <clears throat> flavor. And I do like cured meats. Um, I always have like since I was a child, but, um, they just often don't have anything like cutting through the flavor mm -hmm. as much as this does, where it like tastes fresh still. That makes sense. Yeah. 
Yeah, when Isabeau's still a big meat eater, Bishop is not. Um, but when Izzy was little, she loved things like spam, Vienna sausage, all those processed meats. And I recently had fried spam again recently, and I really liked it. So we might have to get spam again so that I can make the or something like that. And that was the figgy, figgy pudding spam, and you still liked it. Yeah. Huh. That's funny. I like spam, um, but I have a, a tumultuous relationship with it because of the spam contest that I was in. Yeah. Oh, Jeff has a qualifier in two and a half hours. I forgot that that's today. That's in uh, Beria, Ohio, correct? That is very exciting. You're going to crush it, Jeff. I mean, I was telling uh, one of my chili head friends, Ryan, has started getting into competitive eating, and so he's going to go to the qualifier in D.C., and I made sure to message him right away. I was like, you're in luck. Jeff will not be at your qualifier. Because <laughs> I feel like anybody that shows up to the table with you, Jeff, is like, I might as well go home now. Um, spam asubi. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, bacon good. jerky. So I really, really like this. Um, I'd probably also give it a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10? That makes yeah. sense because you like bacon. I'd say an 8. You I'd don't like eight. bacon? No, I do. And I think it's really delicious. I just prefer the beef jerky. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I don't have as much of a sweet tooth as you do. Yeah. But it combines Isabeau's two favorite things, sugar and meat. <laughs> Gideon's going to do DC? Oh, that's going to be tough. Well, uh, he told me where he's at, like how many hot dogs he's been able to eat. So maybe. And I did hear, because they weren't able to schedule enough qualifiers in time, that some of the folks that go to qualifiers that don't win will probably get like a wild card ticket uh, to go just so we have enough people at the table. Cause there's only what, seven, six or seven qualifiers scheduled, which is not enough. Okay. Chili Mexican trail mix. Yeah. So I don't really like wasabi very much. Like I love it with sushi, but I wouldn't put it on like literally anything else. I think the wasabi peas are actually my favorite part of this snack mix. Okay. <laughs> so I'd probably give it like a four out of ten. It's okay. I'd give it maybe like a four and a half. Yeah. That reminds me, you're working on that school project. So Izzy's working on a project about, well, you're trying to educate your peers on how to explain flavor profiles, right? Yeah. Like how to describe like how different flavors uh, combined with other flavors to create new things. But mm -hmm. well, we were talking this morning, the reason I thought of it, we were talking this morning about spicy. And so typically um, capsaicin is the most common thing that triggers that spicy reaction in us. But I told her uh, she should probably do like a separate section on things like horseradish or wasabi because it's a very different heat. Um, I'm not really sure what in those products causes Yeah, because I'm also spicy getting reaction. into like the chemicals that create the like flavors like citric acid that creates sourness or the different like bitter compounds which there are so many different molecules that have bitter tastes like caffeine is one of them and that's what creates the bitter taste in coffee um but yeah it's just really interesting that's pretty cool. I'm excited to see it when it's done. <clears throat> so Raven says yes he's in Santa Fe New Mexico love Santa Fe that's a cool place um nuff started using sweet heat baked beans in your chili adds creaminess and sweetness you think isabel would approve that sounds good mm. uh turkey meat not beef yeah that would be healthier i love ground turkey and jeff is saying he thinks three to four international eaters get buys oh that makes sense well we'll see there's not really too many female international eaters unless they're gonna like invite nella um zizzer again or uh, Leah Kiever's never come. Maybe they'd invite her. I don't know. Oh, Jeff has to go. Good luck. Good luck. I'll be I'll be watching uh, the interwebs to see how you do. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Tom says I could eat capsaicin as long as it doesn't get on my lips. Yeah, that that hurts for sure. Okay, Python <clears throat> jerky. I don't like the texture very much. Yeah. Excuse me. I think I'd give it a 6 out of 10 just because of the novelty. I think the seasoning that they used on here was really good, despite the fact that I don't like celery. I think it worked really well with the meat, but it's extremely chewy. Yeah, I would probably give it 
Oh, five and a half. Five and a half? Okay, pretty yeah. close. Pretty close to that. Very cool. Well, those are all of our snacks. I did want to mention, I don't know if it's going to be live or not because it's a test product, but people have been sharing it, so I don't feel bad. Uh, at 5 p.m. tonight, I will be doing this Chupacabra Chug, brand new from uh, Creature Sauce Co. from my buddy Midge. So that's fun. It's a really pretty bottle. You can see it's uh, gradient in color, so the bottom of the glass is green. I think that's fun. And then sometime soon, I'm going to be doing these gator toes, which are fried garlic, and I love garlic. But uh, the reason I brought this up is uh, as I started planning uh, what day I was going to do this with my friend, I saw that Molly uh, posted a video of her doing this, which just isn't fair. Um, I really, I don't think she usually submits her points to League of Fire, but nobody's going to beat Molly's time. I haven't watched it yet, but she probably ate these in like 30 seconds or less, I'm sure. She's a wild woman. Love her. All right. Well, that took us half an hour, but it felt pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I guess we'll we'll get back to the rest of our day. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, thank you to Jeff's Famous for sending us all of these lovely products. Very excited to snack on these throughout the weekend. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. Bye.